Ish, thank you so much for coming on. No worries. I appreciate man. you for coming on. Thank you for having me, bro. Yeah, during rush hour as well, flipping 5, 6, 7 p.m. Yeah, rush hour time. Was, uh, long drive. <laughs> <laughs> Alhamdulillah, man. I'm grateful. Yeah, how's everything? Can't complain, man. Mm. We're breathing, we're alive, mm. a roof over my head. Yeah, yeah, good. You provided me with <laughs> so, MMs. <laughs> I have to be very grateful, man. I can't lie, the peanut ones are better than. Uh, which, which ones do you like? I oh, actually. I prefer the so, so if I dash this at you, you'll have a breakup. Seriously. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, you got the the epipen. Nah, nah, it's not that. <laughs> 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 Bro, what's this about you um, almost being on lo Love Island? Yeah, man, they shouted me still. Yeah. A couple of times. A couple of times? Yeah. Yeah, bro. No chill, don't try flex round me. Muscle get stretched round me. Small free nil. Pass the pad. Don't act bad, but I'm bad when I feel. And still, it's like I'm the last of the real. It's like I'm the last of the real. Bro, it's just, I feel like I'm not like shocked by it because I feel like they shout a lot of. You're like, I know I'm good looking. <laughs> you know, you nah, tell nah. me again. Bro, there's some, there's some ugly people I love, Island. You know, it's not just the like, good looking ones. But, yeah. Um, I, I feel like I'm not shocked by it because it's like because I know the industry they they do reach out to quite a lot of people you know yeah it's, it's a scouting thing isn't it now it's yeah, like because it's like just because they reached out to me doesn't necessarily mean I was gonna end up yeah yeah there's yeah, like yeah. so many different the, processes. the pre like audition stage if yeah. you like to call it whatnot yeah. and then um, I can't lie though Love Island is my guilty pleasure though yeah I, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah you know what I mean that's my guilty pleasure but what was it like was there like a thing inside like, inside of you were like mm, no chance no chance. <laughs> No, no. But what if? There's no what ifs, man. I'm happily, you know, uh, in a relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah engaged. So Congrats. wouldn't work anyway. And then being a Muslim, it's impossible, bro. Mm. Like, there's no way. If Allah has given me all of this, how can I disrespect him by jumping on that filthiness? Bro? Yeah, bro. The shaitan's like, okay, let me send him another yeah. DM. <laughs> yeah, that, that that specific <laughs> tactic from the shaitan is never gonna work. So, <laughs> would I go on it? I don't know, man. Yeah. You consider it. I, I would judge you if you did, though. I'll judge myself. <laughs> I'll judge myself. Because it's like a, I want to say, it's kind of deep, and I don't call it like a career ending thing, innit? But it's like. But also, I don't think um, people, it's like th there's a very small percentage of people that actually build something out. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, the people that win and the people that do well usually tend to do better. But a lot of them, even then, they fall off because. They don't have a real audience. Do you know what I mean? Like they've mm. only watched them for the show, and that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, man, I, I like what I have a lot more, man. Because mm. these people have been watching me for years. You know, it's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must have. Yeah, like a lot of them have watched me since I started YouTube and I went to Omar. And, yeah. But how do they tell you what, when they, when they message you and you're like, nah, I don't want to. But when they try again, are they like, are you sure? No. So the first time they reached out, and I said no, nah. and then. They reached out to my management after my management called. Yeah, them. yeah. They were like, I was like, there's no way, bro. <laughs> Send me an email. So, yeah, man. Culturally diverse. A whole roster in the, on the island. I don't know why they would, though, because it's like, if you go through <laughs> my page, like, you see me in very Muslimic places. Yeah, yeah. But well, they want that, though. Articles. Bro, that would, that would definitely be on the news. Oh yeah, hundred percent. That, that's not. I'm not involved. I don't want none of that, man. My parents would be so disappointed. In me. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I can't do that, man. What do your parents think of what you do now? I think um, I'm at a point where they kind of just leave me too. Obviously, they're proud of me, mm. but at first, it definitely was not like that. Really? When I first started, my mum's always been the more like emotionally intelligent, supportive person. So like, whatever I want to do, just do your thing. Yeah. But my dad, obviously, that's different. <laughs> um, he, bro, he was like, "Go do something real." Yeah, bro, like that. It was, it was, a, it was. A, <laughs> it was, it was a, yeah. Trying to do, bro, get bro, a bag full of money. It was like, bro, like, dad, come here, look at this. Yeah, it was an you issue. See this? You didn't get none of it because of what he said to me the other day. <laughs> it was an issue. Still, it was. It was definitely an issue, man. Um, I tried to convince him mm. to let me do my thing but for a long long time what did he want you to do we had a construction company together so i i used to really my dad, he has his own construction company so i used to help him with that 
And when I started doing YouTube and stuff, I kind of just fell off that because obviously I enjoyed YouTube a lot more than the admin of his business. Yeah. And he was like, nah, like, what are you doing? Like, come make some real money over here kind of thing. Which is, I, I get it <laughs> from his perspective. And obviously as a as a dad, like, you know, you care, you care about your son more than anyone else. So mm. it's like, he's not seeing my vision. So yeah, I had to buy a nice car, prove it to him. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then he was like, yeah. Okay. And that was actually one of my goals. Like, uh, I put it on my wall. The same car that I bought, mm. it was been on my wall for like four years. I said, I'm going to buy that car. And then my dad's never going to say anything to me. Mm. So, yeah, man. Congrats, bro. Did it. Alhamdulillah, man. Yeah. Grateful. It's all Allah, bro. Still, still more to come. <laughs> yeah, but you never know, man. Bro, TikTok could be banned. Uh, I could be banned. My car I could lose it tomorrow. You yeah. never know how this, this life works, bro. I could die tomorrow, bro. No, I, no, I, that, no, but I do think about these things, man. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I actually proper like deep these things. That's yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Whatever I have, I'm just grateful. Don't know how long you're gonna, it's gonna last. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have those thoughts. It's the dark thoughts, man. Though. It's kind of like, wow, I'm, I've come this far. I can't end, I can't finish it now. <laughs> <laughs> but even like, even like tomorrow, I could, what's that one girl that she's, I saw a TikTok video when one girl was like, I could go to prison tomorrow for whatever reason. No, I don't know about the prison thing. Actually, you know, you never know, man. You see what I'm saying? They locked up Andrew Tate for no reason. So, <laughs> you never know, man. You never know. Bro, I saw one of your videos with um, Islam as well, man. Shout out to him. Um, Shout out Islam. And he was saying, no, was it you who was saying that? Where well, you lot were talking about parents. It was kind of interesting. Oh, YouTube video. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and yeah. the podcast when you lot doing a uh, mukbang. And you were saying that you had like, anger management problems when you were younger. Yeah, I used to punch walls, man. I, what, had everyone been through that? No. No, bro. I was, no. I was, one, I was the one getting punched. Oh, I swear. <laughs> no, yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> Control my anger still at all, but I couldn't control it. I used to just punch walls because I couldn't punch my dad. Yeah, so I have to punch. Walls. But why? Why were you so angry? What, 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 even in school as well, did you have like? Were you one of those kids who just had like malice anger problems? No, nah, in school, yeah, I didn't have anger problems. Maybe a couple times it came out, but not like that. Like I never used to get into fights and that. Yeah, but it's more. Um, I used to try my best to get away with everything. So I used to try to beat the system in any way I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, uh, th we had this rule, like, if you wore trainers, you can't go to lessons. So I, I was thinking, this is great, bro. Let me just wear trainers then. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> um, it's so a yeah. win-win for all. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, my, I feel like it's smart, though. You have, I feel like you have to work smart. Not hard, yeah, the way you, you were thinking about it, you're like, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, my mum used to get phone calls from school a lot, but it wasn't because I was like angry or getting into fights. It was just because it's like, mm. uh, I'm smart, but I'm always trying to take a shortcut all the time. Do you mm. know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, man. You, you have to, like, it's just... But what, but like, what, what, where does that stem from? I realised when I was younger, yeah, that... So when, when I was in school, when I first went to secondary school... Mm. I was proper on it. Like when I used to get my homework, I used to go home and do it. Mm. Like it wasn't a thing where I'd wait when it's due, do it the night before and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as the years went on, I realized this is all bullshit, bro. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro. As I got older, I was yeah, like, yeah. this is this is not gonna benefit me because I have a lot of like family that on. Let me, let me put this on side. Don't say No, I got a little brother. One little brother. Mm. He's one year younger, but um, I have a lot of family that own businesses and I. I've been and my dad he owns his own business so I've always seen him like working on his own thing so in my head I just think what is this to me like how is this gonna help me do you know what I mean mm. so um yeah man that's that's kind of where it came from like I have to take a shortcut because this is not beneficial to me and to be honest there's a part of me that thinks I was right still like it, I don't know where I've used a lot of the stuff that I've learned in school in my life right now yeah, yeah no, of course do you know what I mean? So it is, and you didn't even think about university either. You're just like, bro. I, I, so I, I dropped that. So I went to um, a sixth form. Yeah, and then five months in, dropped out because I was just done with this learning stuff, bro. I, I was um, basically I went to an all girls sixth form. Swear. So 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 no. So the so, so the secondary school is all girls and then the sixth form is mixed but yeah. the ratio is like there'll be 27 girls and mm. then like three boys to a class I swear to god that must have been lively we were like 
at the time, bro, I loved the attention, but that was the problem because I didn't learn anything. I just loved the attention. And yeah, yeah, the yeah. girls, they've never experienced boys, bruv. Imagine yeah, yeah. their whole secondary school life. Yeah. Wow. There's no boys. So the my, boys man, there, my man was Zeus in school. You know? if you're, bro, I remember this one occasion. Let me tell you about this one occasion, yeah. Wallah, let me tell you about this. This genuine story. I, I swear by Allah, this happened. Yeah. And I remember it so clearly because I found it so tap that this actually happened, yeah. So, you know, when you're in a new class, um, they do icebreaker yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, sessions. So we went in a register of everyone and then everyone basically had to, what's it called, like, go around in the register and then say a fact about yourself. Like, stand up and say a fact about yourself. Yeah. So then the, it went around the whole register. My, my last name is starts with a U in it, so I'm mm. like right at the end, isn't it? So I, they get to my name, I stand up, and then I say, yeah, my name's Ishmael. Everyone calls me Ish. And um, I'm there, like, trying to think of a fact. I was like, um, I'm six foot one. Bro, why did all the girls stand up and start clapping? <laughs> <laughs> Wallahi, this happened. And then, what? I, I swear to God, bro, this happened. This, <laughs> all the girls got up and started clapping, bro. That's a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So... So yeah, bro, like in secondary school, I learned quickly yeah, the attention thing was getting to me. But mm. looking back, like when I reflect, uh, I needed that because now when I get the attention I get online, I'm, I've been used to it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. To some form of attention because uh, you, you actually have to mm. be able to hold your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you drop out. You So then you drop out. And then my dad sends me to America for six months. What? Yeah. For what? Because I was sitting at home trying to apply to new courses, whatever. Mm. And uh, he was like, I can't have my son sitting at home. Because all the people that have dropped out, if you go out, you're going to bump into those same dropouts. And you're not going to get up to anything good, which makes sense. Oh my God, why were you so reckless, bro? Not, not re <laughs> Yeah, but me, you know what it is? I just followed like my genuine interview i like, like taking that risks is my, like, i want to do what i want to do yeah. this is my like, I, I like I taking risks but also yeah. calculated risks like w the things i was learning in sixth form I, I i processed my thoughts yeah i was like cool i'm gonna learn flipping i was learning psychology sociology or something else i can't even remember the other stuff yeah, yeah like cool what what can i do with this that's gonna help me <laughs> i'm gonna go to uni and like it's not i don't want that life for me mm. so might as well just brush it right now do you know what i mean um mm. so yeah my dad sent me to america i have family in america okay sick so i was working with them they do like property development and what state real estate yeah oh no as in like what, what oh, state in america? Oh, oh uh illinois chicago oh so yeah sick. so i was there for quite a long time just working with them and then I came back where I just felt like, bro, like I'm a man now. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm. um, <laughs> yeah, I'm well, well traveled now, bro. Like, I felt, but it was, it was a because obviously no one around me had done anything like that. So it's like I felt like a step ahead already. Like I'm in the real world. Like I was mm. actually helping people make peas and do projects and stuff. Mm. So yeah, I felt um, I could use this now to do something. Mm -mm. And, and then yeah I went back to sixth form for a couple of years and then everyone was going to uni mm. I said not me still <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do but I am not going there bro that's a trap for mm. me I just didn't want to be in education bro I just was like dead the learning thing get me in the real world mm. and yeah man I think that's one of the best decisions I ever made still and then you moved on to which job what was your first role my first job after I dropped out, or well, I mean, after I finished second time sixth form, was I got introduced to this guy called Nathan. Shout out Nathan, <laughs> proper sick guy. And he basically started a real estate company where he's letting properties, letting apartments and whatnot. So it's a startup. Mm. So I was working from his bedroom mm. and I'd get paid commission only. So as when I do a deal, yeah, yeah. that's when I'd get paid. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't get paid for a long, long time still. Until you actually got a deal. Yeah, like three, four months. It was brutal, bro. And yeah, brutal still. And I'm like going North London, West London, South London, using my peas and whatever money I had. Um, 
And I remember like one time he felt sorry for me, he gave me a bill for travel and stuff. Mm. And I was thinking, is this what my life's coming to, brother? Maybe I should have gone uni or something. Like, Cause mm. everyone at uni, they get their, their student finance, they're yeah. chilling. I'm seeing them go shopping with their finance mm. and that. There was that self-reflection point. You were just like, oh my days, what have I got yeah. myself into? But the thing is, I knew that it was somehow helpful because I was meeting a lot of new people and these when I tried to go do these deals. And I was like, there were skills that I was learning that I kind of understood, but didn't fully understand like mm. how to communicate. I remember actually it was funny. I was actually thinking about this the other day, like where I went to a property and he told me to make a video of myself talking um, and showing around the apartment because someone mm. wanted to see it, but they couldn't come to the property. And I felt so awkward doing it. Like, like I remember him showing me how to hold the camera and stuff. And mm. I, I just felt like, yo, this is bare weird. Like, I'm just bare uncomfortable doing this. I was young, innit? But it's mad because it's like, I look back and now it's like, that's my life, bro. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, how, how mad is that? Like, he was literally teaching me how to do it. So, yeah, um, I remember I getting a, a few deals. I started praying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, in that process where I wasn't getting anything, I started praying very heavy. Um, and I started noticing everything just working for me as soon as I started Start praying. praying. Yeah, deals just coming to me. Mm. Like I, I made, I had a target set to make two grand before my birthday, which was in mm. about a month and a half. Yeah, started praying, literally like dropped bad habits that I was doing with demand them. Started praying, mm. made two k in a week after not making anything for a long, long time. So then I knew, yeah, this prayer thing. It's, it's a way shortcut. forward. Yeah, it's yeah. a shortcut. Like, if you want to succeed in life, you have to go to the one that gives success. Mm. So, yeah, man, that's good, man. End up getting fired from so so many roles. Bad jobs, bro. Yeah, nearly all my jobs still. What was the worst one that you had in terms of sacking? What do you mean, though? As in, like, when it came to the sacking, yeah. it was like it was pretty bad. Like where I, f I felt where you felt like fucking hell. Like the idea. There's two. Yeah. One of them is recent. Huh? And then one of them is... So the the first one that I felt, I was working in a gym. Mm. So after I left the property thing, I joined the actual estate agency. Yeah. Like, where I'm actually getting a salary. Mm. And bro, that's when I realised, yo, this salary thing is easy. Like, I can actually do no deals and I'm getting paid the same amount. So then my, you know, like the cutting Sean cutting corner side of me started coming out where I'm literally like calling my, my cousins, my friends saying booking viewings and I'd pretend to go to the view. I just go home, bro. Cause it's like, and I'm getting paid the same. Like before I was grafting for my peas. Like, I had to do a deal for me to eat. Now I'm, I know I'm getting paid. So I don't care if someone gets a property or not. It's not my problem. Still getting paid. So I left that and joined the gym near my house, mm. selling memberships. One of my favorite jobs where I'd wake up early, I'd pray, I'd go to the gym, start at 6 a.m., chilling, bro, like watching YouTube, reading books, like working on my side hustles, like, and the first three hours of that job, everyone knows you because you're there for so long. So there's nothing to answer to. You're just chilling. You're literally yeah. just chilling. Do you know what I mean? And all the morning people, they just, you know, they, there's- Mind their own business. Yeah, they're, they're no hassle. Like they just come in, they go out like, yes, mm. you're just chilling. And then when COVID happened, they said they were going to give me a contract and they didn't let me go when COVID happened. So mm. I was without a job through COVID. Uh, yeah. And I was meant to get paid redundancy and whatnot. Like uh, all my other colleagues, they got paid and stuff. I didn't. Mm. And when I tell you, yeah, <laughs> I was burning. Like, cause I was thinking I actually got violated. Like I'm the dickhead. Mm. Like man's waking up at 5am to be at work for six. Mm. They're like loving my job for you to just brush me like this. Like. Mm. And that's when I told myself never working for anyone ever again. I had to start grinding, like proper grinding. And that's when the content creation started happening. I started YouTube before that. Well, I started YouTube during that job. Did you do cover times? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I went to Omra, that's my first video. Yeah. yeah I started yeah. that during, uh, just before COVID. Uh, yeah, before COVID, I started. Um, but then during COVID, I got a job. Uh, the, the track and trace you know the nhs you, you, yeah, yeah. that just quick thing like good money just calm um yeah, yeah, yeah. But i was just doing my own thing and then after that i was full-time wow yeah and then the second one is uh, sacked from premier league yeah because i, I like andrew tate really i was hosting the premier league youtube channel so i was yeah. like f um filming with other footballers mm -hmm. they take me to each club just 
I liked a video of Andrew Tate um, on Twitter, so it's not even my platform, bro. I haven't got like 4K followers on Twitter. I don't even use it like that. I liked the video of Andrew Tate doing press ups. I got a call saying you're done. They what they said. Yeah. We saw you liking his post. So how did it happen? What like what did it take like a day? Well, did you like the post next day? They were like, you need to. No, so I was going to. Um, they invited me to host a Premier League under 15s event. Yeah. Up north, and my brother he he's in the football world, so he had a shoot with Sky up north. So I was like, cool, we'll go together or whatnot. They pay for hotel everything. They sort it out. So then yeah. I, Literally like 20 minutes later I got a call saying They've like Checked your tweets You're done I was like What the fuck Do you know what I mean Like I was actually Baffed bro And I tried to keep My composure in that Why is it saying Like there's some sort of MI5 thing Like you're, you're done That's a bit Not even a We need to invite you in For a conversation Or some no, shit no, There's nothing still But for me I, I feel like there were reasons There was there was looking for reasons To get rid of me bro Like I, I didn't fit the agenda bro Like I'm Muslim I'm in a big row I was Asian. It, try, it was even hard for me to get. Bro, it. why? How comes they look at us so differently when it comes to like content creating, man? Why is? How comes that we Asians and Arabs haven't been given the opportunity to actually fucking do something? Like, I don't understand. It's bro. We live in a white country, bro. What do you expect, bro? Do you know what I mean? They don't want us to be the face of big shit. Why? But why? 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 Why because are they, they like? Don't. They don't. They don't. They just don't, innit? They, there's so much flipping talent out there from the flipping the Asian Arab community, and like these lot, of, oh, these lot piss me off, bro. So yeah, that I, and uh, and I <laughs> dropped this like I oh dropped that <laughs> after I got rid of after I got rid of them. That was a big moment for me because it did it, it didn't get to my head. Like I was still grateful in the way I am because I'm always like that. But I felt definitely a higher status when I was there. Mm. And as soon as that went, I had a bit of imposter syndrome where I was just thinking like, bro, who am I like? When people are coming up to me for pictures and I'm like, am I even deserving? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know, like I, I see it as a mad blessing in disguise, bro. I grew so much since I left. Like mm. four times the amount of followers on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like 600K on, on TikTok just since I got sacked. So bro, I went to Umrah straight. Mm. As soon as I got sacked, I went straight to Saudi, mm. prayed. Allah just blessed me, man. Got engaged. So bun these lot. Yeah, bro, that's the way you have to be, bro. You have to just if someone disrespects you mm. and you know in your heart that it's not the right thing, it's God's doing it for the right reasons. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But you can't understand that at that moment in time, always. I was gonna ask you, how'd you deal with imposter syndrome? I don't really get it as much anymore. Mm. I did definitely when I started. But at first you were like, what do I like? Yeah. Is, it, is it really meant to be? What do you mean though? As in like- What's your definition of imposter syndrome? It's like when you when you get given an opportunity, when you get paid a certain amount or like when you're filming somewhere. Yeah. And it's like, it's like, why me? Yeah. So, why me? Like, why, why am I the chosen one? So I don't really get any more because mm. I've been in mad rooms and like being around mad, just being involved in a lot of crazy opportunities that now it's like, if something happened, I'm, it's not like I'd, I'd still be surprised and grateful, but it's like, there's a part of me that's like, des feels deserving of, of, of certain yeah, opportunities. Yeah, yeah. But like, I remember three years ago, Mm. I went to a Sunna Musk event. Sunna Musk, you know Sunna Musk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, shout out Sunna Musk. I love Sunna Musk. Um, and it was in the Gherkin. And they had oh, okay. like TikTokers on my table and like people with like 700k followers. I only think I had like 150k, 200k at the time. Yeah. And I had like 800k, <laughs> one mil. Bro, I felt imposter syndrome. Like, I felt like, yo, what the hell, bro? Like, I watch these guys all the time. Why, why am I here and that? Mm. Like, it felt very weird. Like, I was bare anxious. And then I was thinking about it again recently. I reflect bears, by the way, as, as you could tell, yeah. Yeah. I went, I went to Dubai and I was, um, I actually got invited to, to uh, interview Ronaldo. Didn't happen, though, because he didn't interview no one. But I still yeah, got invited. Yeah. I was in the same room as him and that. And I didn't get imposter syndrome. I'm just chatting to everyone like it's calm, the other footballers. Some of them like have seen my content and stuff and I just feel like normal. But I was thinking it's crazy how like life is because I'm in a room with like TikTokers that, that are like smaller than me right now, feeling anxious, bro. And then three years later, I'm on crazy opportunities, but. 
Next time you sit on that round table, you're looking at a kid as well with 150k followers. Like, yep, that was me back then. <laughs> bro, I think about it a lot, man. I swear. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's yeah. why I actually like you to help. It. That's why I like to help a lot of people that are young, man. Like, mm. like, cause mm. it's. That's why I keep mm. saying I'm not special, bro. Man, it's just praise, and it comes true, bro. Yeah, yeah. I do the same as you, but I upload on social media the same as you. Mm. I just go to Amra a lot. I make that out a lot. How was Amra, by the way? Best experience ever, man. How many times have you been? I can't even count, bro. Oh, you've been there multiple times? Yeah, I think I'm eight, nine, probably, I don't even know, man. What is it? Is there a thing where you try and go like every year or is that every two years? I try to go two times a year. Mm. I'm going next week and I'm going in a month. Oh, you're going next? Oh, yeah, yeah, you were saying. So I'm going next week, yeah. um, But this for a brand deal. So this with Turkish Airlines. Oh, nice. But then um, in a month, I'm organizing my own group. Feel free to come. If you want, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like people that haven't gone reverts and stuff. Like people that don't really know about it. Like I've organized a little group. Oh, when are you doing that? After Ramadan. Okay, sick. Yeah, yeah. man, shout me. I'll be, I'll be there. Oh, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, bro. Say Allah. Allah, yeah, of course. Just don't lie to me, bro. But what? I'll be there, bro. This is on camera, by the way. <laughs> you know, like this is serious because yeah, you, we, I need two bill deposit for you to confirm your space. Seriously? Yeah. Is that what you're doing? You're charging people. <laughs> Wait, would you think it's free, bro? You think I'm paying for? Yeah, no, right? no, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, bro, yeah. It's Saudi. I take okay. I take people to Saudi. Is that the Mecca? Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. I'm. It, I just know how much mm. has changed my life. Like yeah, yeah, that yeah. one place has Allah has just given me Mm-mm. everything that I've worked for. F- from me, just like sometimes spending all the money I have to go there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, I know that if people have the same conviction mm. in God and their prayers, if I take them there, bro, they'll get whatever they ask for and work for. Mm. Always. It's, God's never going to fail you. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Sick, man. Are you actually going to come? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would. I know there's a deposit. No, no, no. I would, I would, man. It's it's it's, it's for a good cause, isn't it, bro? They, we've got. Have you ever been before? Never, bro. Sick, bro. Like I've, I've basically I've, I paid for a sheikh to come, mm. so he's gonna lead the group. Mm. Uh, it's me and three of my other boys that are working on it together, and um, yeah, he's sick. Like he's proper sick guy, bro. You know, I've I've never been to the Middle East. And you're from the Middle East. Yeah, I've, the only place I've been to is like Morocco. That's the closest. That doesn't even count. I know. <laughs> that's the, that's what I'm saying. It's the bro, closest. Morocco is for the mandem. Like. Yeah, <laughs> I've never been there, bro. Like I haven't been. To bro, I'm extending my invite. There's only two more spots left. Everyone else has paid their deposit. I'm ready to go. It's. I'll tell you right now. It's prices fourteen hundred. Yeah. Everything's included. Hotel, flights, uh, it's very and cheap. So, so, so you do this as a group and everyone, of course, pays for their flights and whatnot and you take them all the way there. Yeah, we just go together. We're just, you know, we spend time That's together. actually so sick, man. Yeah. I love that. Bro, it's, the option is there, bro. I'm telling you, there's only two more spots left. If you want to come, obviously, by the time this goes out, it will be done. Yeah, so yeah, no, no, no. When are you doing the next one? The next one is not planned yet. It's not planned yet? This uh, is the first time we're doing this, so. First time, okay. I didn't want to post it on social media because I don't want people I don't know personally. Okay, take my word. I'll come to the next one. Okay, cool. Take my word. That's what they all say. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, man. No, no. Inshallah. I do. I want to go, man. Even like I've been, t- I've never been to Iraq. Like, go bro, if you come I don't even to know my own people. I don't know who's out there. Listen, listen. If you go to Umrah mm. and you work on this podcast, this podcast will be one of the biggest in the UK. Mm. That's the power of that place, bro. I pre- yeah, yeah. Facts. I appreciate that, and I appreciate it, inshallah. One day, inshallah. Bro, I want to talk about how you backhand the algorithm. Brev, I got, I just told you, bro. Like, I literally just go to Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I go to, I, I go in front of Allah's house, and I, I'm like, Allah, this is what I say, yeah. Mm. Allah, allow me to grow in this life, mm. in worldly things, so I can show people mm. when they all ask me questions that it's only you that's given this to me. That's oh, yeah, the exact yeah. same dua that I make every single time I go. Mm-mm. That's why I have to give credit to God because it's only Him, bro. Like, I told mm. you, I'm a normal guy, bro. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just keep going there, I make dua, and then magical, miracle things just keep happening to me. Has there been a brand that you turned down, like a huge brand, and you're like, I'm not working with you? Of course, like vape brands. Yeah. Even though I vape sometimes, I can't put that on camera because there's a lot of children that watch me and I don't want those children to pick up a bad habit because of me. Mm. So yeah, I've turned down 
a lot of money mm. for i don't know why vape brands pay a lot they but they do they they were offering me a lot of money there's a huge market in it so there was actually a f- recent brand deal that i turned down it was a uh, sweet yeah but it had gelatin in it oh I swear obviously as a muslim can't mm. have gelatin and that was a fat deal that was like eight bags yeah so but i just can't bro I can't. what brand was it I don't know if you can name. say if you can say if you can't. I c- probably can say it still, but I'm gonna have to find the name. It's a it's a Japanese or it, it's not. Like, yeah, one of them was the yeah, international yeah. ones. International ones, but they're in shops here though. Yeah, yeah. But I forgot the name, bro. Have you have you lost any friends since your career pop- popped off? Yeah, of course. What? Why? Like as a man, yeah, you have to constantly evolve, innit? So, people that like tolerated you when you was younger mm. if you evolve and want want to do what's best for you some people just can't stomach it mm. do you know what I mean so yeah you just end up sidestepping them but it's normal though like I like I feel like that's a very normal part of growth but I've also retained a lot of friends yeah I feel like that's even more important to speak about because it's like mm. there's people that have seen me from a very young age and I'm still the exact same to them now. Like proper man, people that are not on camera that you won't see, like yeah. the man, the man, them from school. Mm-hmm. And then obviously you've got the friends that you see on camera. Mm-hmm. But those friends, you know, I met them in Umrah. Really? Yeah, bro. It's given. Bro, like it's a sign, bro. Yes, you, sh- you should just send me two bills and like put your name down on this trip, bro. Change your life, still. Mm. He thinks I'm joking. No, 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 I, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I believe, I believe you, but is it um, in terms of like? I just mean from the angle of like because of your career now. There's like there's a bit of like I don't know animosity and stuff. Not really, man. I and even if there was, I feel like I'm too. I've, I've never asked this question to anyone, uh, yeah. anyone before, so I'm just. I'm actually curious to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, I, I just feel like I'm too focused for me to even notice. Yeah, yeah, things. yeah, yeah. Like if someone wasn't didn't like me for what I'm doing and stuff, mm. I feel like I'm I'm too busy in my day to even notice it. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. I've got emails to respond to. I've got ex person calling me and mm. working on things constantly mm. where I'm barely gonna notice it. Do you know what I mean? And mm. it, it, honestly, if if someone's got an issue with me that's actually honestly your problem yeah yeah, yeah. i mean i couldn't care less you have to just do you bro like bro do you know how many people watch me mm. i can't give a shit if i did give a shit i'd lose my head breath <laughs> <laughs> it's true though i like yeah no it's, it's a good point yeah and and the thing is yeah i feel like i like to think about it logically yeah like i want to get bigger i want to get to like chances level these guys are my yeah. inspiration like these yeah. are the reason the p- same people that helped me start yeah, yeah, yeah not course. like actually helped me i haven't bugged them yo chunks if you see this <laughs> shout out me. Um, but yeah like I, I was watching them addicted to their videos thinking yo if this guy can do it so can i but mm. the more bigger you get the more issues come with it so you have to have the mindset of you don't care right now mm. If I do something wrong, then I care. But if I'm just living my life, doing my thing, why am I going to care about someone else's opinion? You can't, bro. Otherwise, yeah, yeah. it's not it's not my life. If I care about other people's opinions, it's not my life. It's their life, bro. Yeah, yeah, of course. So, yeah, good point. Do you care about people's opinion? No, not really. You know, when I first started, the amount of hate messages I got. Really? Yeah, I had Hello Aziz on for the first episode. Boy, the comments are still there. <sighs> oh. <laughs> he's funny, man. He's Yeah, he's funny. He's funny. He's funny. He's good. Um, yeah, man, bear hate message, even DMs as well. Like fucking the classic, kill yourself. <laughs> the classic, stop laughing, kill yourself. You know the hate comments that used to bug me a lot though. Like I used to be calm with hate comments, but the yeah. hate comments that used to bug me a lot, like yeah. when I first started, were like people that like judged my relationship with God. Like that, I don't know why. But Swear. Yeah, in me that, that made me feel a certain type of way. Still, I'm not gonna lie. Because the thing is, yeah, my first ever piece of content in the world yeah. was Umrah. So they, everyone watched this video thinking I'm this proper religious person, and I, I'm. They have this mad perception of me. Imagine like your first video you're dropping, mm. is you going to Saudi Arabia on a pilgrimage. Then my other video, the next video after that was like a wing challenge where I'm like trying hot wings. Do you know what I mean? And they're, they're comparing both videos. Yeah, is that what they're doing? So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, I had yeah. to go through Flip this transitional night, phase of people judging right. me and my relationship with God, and that 
it made me feel a certain type of way still, I'm not gonna lie. And then another thing that made me feel a certain type of way, yeah, is when people thought I was perfect, cause it's like, I knew the madnesses I was getting up to behind camera. Mm. And it's like, people would have this mad perception of me, like, oh, it's just the perfect Muslim. And it's like, mm. it used to make me feel sick. Like, like, I'm not that guy, I'm a normal guy, do you know what I mean? Why would they, how come they thought you were so perfect? Cause I went to Umrah in my first video. They, it's just social media, innit? Like, you, that's I, a weird thought. Bro, if you go to Umrah and drop that as your first ever video, you're gonna people are gonna think you're a sheikh. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. So th- that's I had to deal with that. But now you learn with age and stuff. The more you keep dropping, the more people know you as a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was the risk that I took as when I dropped my first video as well. It's like it's like it's, it's almost like a contract that you sign up for. It's like you either you live by it and then like this is it. Like your face is showing now, or you just I don't know, just quit and do something else. That's it. Literally, man. On your journey of me creating content so far you realize ah i didn't I, I didn't realize that no one gives a shit about you if you're not winning no one cares about you if you're not mm. winning mm. i wouldn't be on this podcast you even invite me if i didn't get views like that's the reality of- oh don't say it like that that's weird to me <laughs> it's true though i mean yeah, you have to accept it like you have to win for you to get opportunities mm. you have to work on winning constantly mm. like constantly like uh it's a hard world, man. Everyone's trying to do the same thing. So you have to be different. And also everyone's fake as well. Like mm-hmm. there's a lot of fake people in this industry. Um, but yeah, like I, I think one of the things I've realized, not just about this industry, but in life in general, if you're not winning, truly winning, no one cares. Mm-hmm. So like no one would care about me if I didn't do X amount of deals or get millions of views like i just i have to work on winning do you know what i mean yeah, yeah 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 of course does it make sense or am i bugging no 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 it makes perfect sense cool 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 i just wanted to it sounded a bit because it's, it's, it's like that feeling as well sometimes when i don't upload as well i feel like oh my god i'm not relevant anymore yeah it's fucking that's but that's fucking scary yeah but that's why you have to constantly work on winning every day like what are you doing to win mm. you know what i mean every single day still because it's like if you're not uploading yeah Let's just say one week you didn't upload. Someone else dropped a thirty podcast, mm. and th- in that week you're a loser. Yeah, I mean it's 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 harsh, but it's the reality. It is, like, it is. It's a it's a competition. Yeah, it's it's all a competition. Like it's everything is a competition, man. And obviously, you are competing with yourself too. There's, mm. but yeah, mm. if you're not winning, someone else is winning. So. Yeah, it's like, but again, it's like going back to brand deals, the sponsorships, it's like, why should I give it to this guy called Amir, but why not this guy who's actually getting... So you have to work on when brands come or you reach out to brands, like, mm. you're an idiot if you give it to someone else, because look, I'm winning. Do you know what I mean? Have you said that to a brand? <laughs> you, yeah. you man are dumb. <laughs> how dare you go to that? It's content creator. Okay, peasant. My management know how to take care of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's like that, man. And I don't even like see me as this big guy, big, big guy. But also I know my level as well. Like there's, there's tons of people that are so, so much bigger than me. No, I think it's, bro, it's the way, it's, your content is sick. It's like the way you do it though is so effortless. You make it look so simple. Uh, bro, like, like, it's not it's not easy you know it's not but at the same time yeah it is as well like you can pick up a phone and like when you're coming to this podcast film a tiktok of me you doing a behind the scenes with us mm. it is effortless but like do you know I mean how often are you trying to like think about these ideas and stuff like bro the videos i make wallah bro they're easy like mm. the, anyone can do it. That's yeah, why I keep. Course, yeah, that's why I keep saying like I'm no different to anyone. I just keep literally like have the initiative to pick up the camera and record. And because I've been doing it over so long, people just mm. like got to know me. Like I think anyone can be a content creator. Absolutely anyone, yeah, yeah. and make it full time. Anyone can build influence. Someone called me the other day. No, and not anyone. You you have to be charismatic. Yeah, anyone could try to build influence. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Um, you, you obviously you need to work on those other parts of yourself, like where you're charismatic. Mm. You know, like you, you're smart. You know what you're talking about, etc. Mm. But in my videos, I, I don't know. I don't come across like I know what I'm talking about. I, I like, I play the fool mm. in my videos. Mm. Like I act dumb, way much more dumber than I am, or st- I don't even know if that's a word, stupider. Yeah, because I know that's what gets clicks. Like. If I open a box, yeah, 
I'm acting way more enthusiastic on camera than if I was to like, open it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so much more. Like, yeah, yeah. you have to work on mm. like these small things but again anyone can actually do that it's not like it's special if, mm. if someone does it i think anyone could do it so. any any point in in during the content creating any point during content creating did you ever feel like giving up were you like were you like uh i don't know if this is going to go anywhere yes but not because i wasn't getting views mm. uh, around like 150 60k where I swear yeah not even a glimmer of hope no, not not giving up because inside it was more like I was emotional. I was like, let me give up. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I was talking to people around me saying I'm gonna quit, but it was more like I just wanted them to say, nah, nah, you're doing really well. Yeah. Carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that one, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but inside, yes. I, I knew that, bro. He wants, he wanted, <laughs> bro, me, I'm just real with it, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro, literally. But but at the, at the same time. Um, I knew, bro. If I've got to 150k, I can't stop now. That's just it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's illogical. Like it's not worth. Why am I spending all that time for me to quit? Do you know what I mean making yeah. videos and because otherwise everything else would be a waste. It's like if I quit this now, it's like everything I've done. It was, it was literally just because I wanted people to around me to be like, "Ish, yo, you're actually sick." Bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? it's like, okay, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it I love that. <laughs> that's real, that's real. I love that. Yeah, yeah, you as well. We, we, do you want to tell me something as well, mate? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> that was some real shit. When you're not doing content creating and when you're not not, not like working and stuff, how do you deal with like you know to make sure you're maintaining your mental health? How how do you maintain that? Uh, so I have two, oh, oh, three, very very important things mm. that I'd say. Number one is a uh, prayer, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you're praying five times a day, mm. which God wants you to do, mm. He will look after you in every way possible. Like if something goes wrong in that moment, trust me, it is going so right. If you're not praying and things are going wrong, mm. then you should be worried. Uh, again, it's logical. Like I believe God creates the earth. He's more all powerful. If you're praying the way, if you're worshiping him the way he wants you to worship him, and stuff is not going the way you want, you're literally doing right by God. So how can he possibly let you down? Mm. Uh, if you're not praying and stuff goes wrong, then you can start thinking like, well, what the hell is going on? Do you mm. know what I mean? Because if God might not be looking after me. Yeah. Um, number one, number two, gym. I go gym every morning. Mm. Without fail, have to. It's just the, it changed my life, man. Jim, one of the things that completely changed the trajectory of my life. Like you have self confidence, you, know, you can hold your own in a room. Mm. Uh, you you realize that you don't have to be the biggest guy to to have good conversations with huge men. Do you know what I mean like like there's some big big wham guys, and I'm here like skinny when I first started. Yeah. And we're like boys And I was like Rah, I never thought I'd be like this Like At first when I went there I was very intimidated By everyone around me And stuff mm. You, you realise that It's all fake bro Everyone's a nice guy really When you have a conversation um, And yeah Obviously what it does Scientifically to your body And your mind is It yeah, speaks yeah. for itself You feel so refreshed Yeah Yeah, yeah. Number three is um, Speaking to good people man Like mm. Speaking to I have You know Obviously my missus Parents, family, friends, constantly. Like, if I'm driving, I'll just randomly call one of my friends. Like, I don't listen to music like that. Do you know what I mean? So, if I'm in a car, I'm like usually on the phone to someone. Yeah. Or listen to a podcast. But I'll literally just randomly call one of my friends I haven't spoken to in, in a few weeks. I'm like, what are you saying, man? And also, I feel like I slightly um, have to as well because. A lot of people get the wrong impression of me, like, oh, I'm famous. I use famous very loosely. Oh, this guy hasn't spoken to me in time, whatever, whatever. So I like to do that effort so it's like, yeah, they can relax. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah, still here, yeah. bro. Right? What's like the biggest misconception about you? Oh, that's a good question, man. Well, I mean, you make it easy for me, bro. You've seen me online, now you've seen me in real yeah. life. What, what, what's, what would you say is your misconception? Brother, you're taller than I thought. <laughs> uh, I mean, I thought people would clock that from my videos, man. No, no, no. 
I guess, but yeah. Like, bro, no, bro, no. the girls stood up and clapped. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I already knew that one. Yeah, they made it very clear. Misconception, though, I don't know, man. Um, when they meet you, they're like, "Oh, well, I thought you'd be like." Yeah, a lot of people think I'd like move prestige. I mean, there's certain times where you have to in certain situations. Yeah. yeah. Not move prestige, but you just have to know yourself a bit. But, bro, I feel like I'm like, I like to make people feel comfortable. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I I was once someone that used to go up to someone and be like, oh, my days, I love your videos and stuff. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, that was me. So when people come do that to me, bro, like... Bro. You feel, I feel because when, when that happens to me, I feel shy. I feel like, oh man, I, I don't know how to react. Yeah, I feel like I'm past the stage of not knowing how to react, but it's like I want to know more about them. Yeah, so yeah, they're yeah, like yeah, asking yeah, me yeah, questions, yeah. but it's like, bro, where are you from? Like, how old are you? Like, mm. do you know what I mean, a lot of the people that come up to me, they'll they'll probably like agree with this. It reminds me of um, one time I went, met Tobes from one of the sidemen, and there were bare kids surrounding him. And I wanted to have a conversation with him. I just wanted to chat yeah. to him. But because every kid was asking for a photo and stuff, I thought, I mean, the closest thing I could really do is just ask for a photo as well. So when it was my time to actually speak to him, I said, bro, can I just get a picture because a bear kid's waiting for you. And he came to me and was like, hi, hello, how are you? You know, talk to me properly. And I was like, well, that's what I was trying to do. But the thing is, well, look at all these fucking kids. Like, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Because uh, uh, sometimes they just want a conversation, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a bit like me, to be honest. Like, obviously... Pictures and stuff are, are cool. I, I don't even feel like I'm deserving of pictures. Yeah, you know I mean, like I'm not <laughs> splitting <laughs> Toby from the side, man. Yeah, you know I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But honestly, like having a nice conversation, I think is it's like something you remember more than a picture. Mm. Someone coming over to you take a picture. I've like had that so many times. Yeah, yeah. But if yeah. you like, if if someone tells me something interesting about them, or mm. you know, maybe how I've helped them, or you know, with one of my videos. I feel like that's more rememberable. Like I'd go to my missus and be like, oh my days, guess what? Someone just came up to me. They said like, they started creating content because of my videos. Oh. And now, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's like that's, that's, yeah, you remember these things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, are you going to bring back, um, what's it called? Mukbang during uh, Ramadan? Probably not during Ramadan, but I am bringing that. You back. should bring it back, man. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it a lot, man. Yeah. Yeah. Edition. Yeah, edition, we actually yeah. did a few iftar yeah. editions. Oh, did you watch it? No, no, no. Oh, right, that was a nice now. guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I'm definitely bringing that back, man. Have you, have you, man, seen the flipping um, the fifty, them fifty clips? The who the fuck did who the fuck did I marry? No, that 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 woman on TikTok who um, what's it called? She posted like fifty clips explaining who the fuck she married, and she got over I think three hundred bags just from fifty clips on TikTok. Bro, some people are just lucky, man. Like, bro, it, the thing is, yeah, really with content creating is mm. everyone can be lucky if you're not an idiot. If you're not a total idiot and you're just posting stupid stuff, yeah, yeah, everyone can create their luck by doing what other people are doing and then just posting consistently you're just increasing your chances do you mm. know what i mean like it's not like some magical miraculous thing of course it is like it, to a certain extent where like you get to certain places and you make certain amount of money it's things you've always dreamed of mm. but like it's so tangible like it, it, your next viral video could be your next video mm. and then if it does if it's not viral then just post the day after and that could be it and the day after that could be it. Do you know what I mean? Like your next bro, you people my friends used to think I was crazy. Wallah, I swear to God. I used to think I used to drop a video and I used to be like, This video is gonna go viral. Watch, it's gonna be a miracle. Like I used to say shit like that. Do you know what I mean? It's like I'm manifesting the miracle. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's possible, bro. Like it's just any video could be the one that could change your life. Mm. It's genuinely how it works, man. But you got them but imagine how much content you're sitting on that you think, oh, this is not gonna bang. I bet, I bet you got loads of them, innit? Yeah, but at the same time, I don't care no more, bro. It's like, yeah, it's like the, yeah. the more you care about it, the more you're even like not manifesting it, potentially banging. There, and there's t there's times where I've thought this video is not going to bang and it bangs. So it's like, you just don't know, innit? Like at the end of the day, you, it, I don't like to think about what's not in my control. I like to leave, I like to let, like leave that to Allah. Yeah. What my control is, is I have to make a video. I mm. have to edit it and I have to post it. After that, I let God do his thing still. Do you know what I mean? Like, how was Dubai last week? 
Dubai. Uh, I didn't go last week, did I? Was it the week, the the week, week before? before? It was good, man. Yeah. Bro, pff, sick, man. Wallah. I'm jealous, bro. I'm the not. thing is, uh, I've been a few times before. You're more Arab than I am at this point. I think so, <laughs> man. I mean, do you know Arabic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you speak fluent? Fluently, yeah, yeah. Okay, sick. I'm learning right now. Oh, you're actually good, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm learning, but I'm learning Fusha, though. Oh. Yeah. Different. I'm learning Fusha. But even as a kid, when I was watching them cartoons, what, what are they saying? That's difficult, but that's good though. That's very hard. And I'm a shore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I swear to my, me, my missus been teaching me small small. So, where's she from? Palestine. Mm. Yeah, free Palestine guys. Always. Absolutely. How do you know me? If you don't mind me asking. <sighs> can't reveal that. You can't reveal camera, that. Yeah. I'm trying to keep a lot of my personal life. Personal life yeah, private. Because yeah. cause it's like, I can't speak about it. It's not that deep, but it's like I like that to be like our story. Do you know what I mean? Like like I don't want it to be for the internet. Like It's quite cute though, no? Like, oh, I met like this. It's like, I was like, oh. Yeah, it can, but it's like we're we're. She's extremely private. Like she don't have. Social That's media. fair. Yeah, 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 at all. Like she don't have no Instagram, no no social media. Like she has a burner account to see my videos and stuff. Um, really? Yeah, she don't have socials, bro. Wow. So no one, literally, no one can find. She'll be her. commenting on her burner account. Like, what country is this? She don't even comment no more. <laughs> she don't. She don't even support me like that no more. Yeah. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> But yeah, like they even same question I got asked uh, on another podcast. I literally was like, I just like like mm. certain stuff to just be us. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like if you get too much nazar, no way. No. There's nazar, yeah. There's evil eye, and there's people that question things. But then it's also like, like she's not even private. Like I don't want to be telling like her story as well. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Interesting. She's not public. I mean, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But yeah, man, I, best thing I ever did, by the way, find someone that wasn't public. When's the wedding? Either the end of this year or the start of next year, inshallah. Are we invited? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's in Jordan. So oh, really? Are we doing it there? Yeah. Oh, congrats, man. Thank you, man. Um, nice. It's, yeah, man, I did it abroad because you know how it is, man. Politically, you have to invite loads of family members and that. And there's a lot of people... <laughs> Extended friends That I politically Have to invite Family members Yeah and Obviously a lot of them Have been good Alhamdulillah But a lot of them Were chatting a lot of shit About me when I first Started social media So logically it Didn't make sense To do a wedding here Have to invite All these people Because you have to Invite them Pay for their food And that When they were Chatting shit about me It doesn't make sense So like I'm doing it abroad Because now I'm going to Invite most people And they're not going To pay for the ticket <laughs> Yeah man oh, You got to pay For their ticket I'm gonna pay for my parents and um, yeah, yeah, um, probably my grandparents. Mm. But everyone else, mm. if you want to come, pay for your ticket. It'd prove how much you love me, innit? <laughs> that, that's another deposit on top. <laughs> <laughs> the two bills on top, yeah, yeah. yeah. But to, to be honest, t- uh, tickets to Jordan are cheap, man. It's like one forty. Really? Yeah, it's not expensive. I was looking at tickets to Qatar today. Really? They are like four hundred. From my sweating, but this is like what much? Yeah, yeah. Tickets to Jordan are good still. Have you been to Qatar? I have, but I haven't explored it much. So I was there stopover. So I was very short in and out. What's the worst country you've been to? You were there. You're like, I want to get back. I want to get back the fuck home. No way, you know. Me, I love explore. Oh, probably when I went China, but oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been but there, again, like, but you've uh, been trying. To- yeah, brother, I got homesick. What? Uh, brother, I got homesick. I said I've never wanted to come back home in my life. The minute I I, I got on that plane, yeah. landed in China, I said yeah, I'm far from. Where home. did you go? Shanghai. Ah, okay. I, I was like, yeah, I'm far from home. Did you go to Hong Kong too? Went, no, no, no. I loved Hong Kong. I so I loved Hong Kong. Yeah, I loved Hong Kong. Oh yeah, you went recently. Yeah, yeah, oh really? Yeah. Sick. Uh, see, I went to Hong Kong, and then you know to enter China, you need a visa, yeah. innit? Yes. Yeah. 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 And I tried to yeah. enter without a visa, <laughs> so they put me in pen. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> yeah, bro, I was there f- five six hours. I had to like call the embassy. It was and this was I was young, bro. I was by myself. Why is that so funny, bro? It's like if I just picked him up and just like by the arms. It wasn't. It wasn't like actual like being violent and stuff. But it's like you try to enter our country without a visa. Yeah. Now we have to put in a holding cell until you figure out your shit. You can't even just turn turn back like. No, not, not they like can't. That. It wasn't. I wanted to, but I wanted to like let go. But they wanted to find out more about oh, me. Yeah, yeah, of course. Find more. Oh, so what? Even going back, to, coming back home was not an option. 
No, I was meeting my, so I was in Hong Kong alone, and then I was meeting my cousin in Guangzhou. Mm. They had a huge trade show, show there. It's called a Canton Fair. It's called the Canton Fair. It's huge. It's one of the biggest in the world. Yeah, it literally like t- imagine like fifteen football pitches full of businesses like trying to sell their services, like manufacturers and whatnot. Sick. So I went to like go start. I had this idea of I'm gonna start my own business, start selling bikes and that called Ish's bikes. <laughs> so let me go Guangzhou, pattern a manufacturer. And that. <laughs> what are you like even trying to hustle in different countries yeah, yeah. with no visas? Like, oh, <laughs> if I want to stay in this country, we'll do it my way. This is how I've been doing it for many, many years. Bro, me, I was trying to look for a shortcut because you had to. Get, <laughs> yeah. I'm taking it with him. He's like, this shortcut is gonna carry on in my life. So you, you had to. I, I, I got told you needed a visa. F- from the UK to enter China, yeah, yeah, I got told. That's true, yeah. But I also got told, like, when I was in Hong Kong, I didn't have a visa. I, I, there was an option to get one mm. while I was in Hong Kong, but they also told me that nah. Someone told me that nah. Um, apparently, like UK citizens don't need one. So I was like, let me try my luck. Then like, I'd rather do that than pay whatever it is oh, to get a techie, visa. Yeah. So I went on this train. It's like four hours. Went on it. Went to flipping Guangzhou. <laughs> It put bloody put me in this pen. What did they say to you? Were they like you can't go back home? In like- China, you already know that in Hong Kong everyone speaks English. China, no one speaks English. In Shanghai, were people speaking English? Not really. The English was yeah. terrible, Pretty like bad. terrible. And obviously, man, don't know Chinese except Ni Hao and that. Yeah. But yeah, it was hard, bro. Like I had to. I literally they put me in the cell and I was bare confused. They stole my wallet. And then I, I, the only thing I had on my f- was my phone. And my dad, I remember this guy saved me. Yeah, mm. before I left, obviously my parents were a bit worried about me going because I was young. I was like seventeen. Mm. So yeah, you went to Hong Kong on your ones at seventeen. Yeah, so yeah, they were a bit worried. I'm well travelled, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my so well travelled. You need a visa to get to a country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my dad told me to put a. Uh, uh, the British embassy's number in my phone, the Chinese one. Yes. So as soon as I was in this pen, couldn't find my wallet, like literally looking for my wallet, like that's got everything in it, like all my cards that to contact and whatnot. I was like, yo, I'm calling the embassy right now. And they heard like this English person speaking on the phone, but like they must have said like, I'm from the embassy and stuff. They started with Chinese and then they, they moved to English. So them man understood it. Bro, they ran in my wallet. They knew they were gonna get in trouble. Whatever it is, I don't know. But like, as soon as I called, the action started happening in front of me. Got my wallet and then yeah, literally just went back on the train. But I was I was in that cell for like five hours, bro. It was, it was tapped, bro. And there's other men there. Like this, Tur- I think it was a Turkish guy. I can't even remember, man. In some for some dumb reasons, bro. Like a weird experience, man. Wallah. Do you know how funny that is? It's like it's like what are you in for? Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> I can't um, even looking back here. A lot of these things that happen to me is the reason why I'm stoic. Like I've been under stressful situation, not the most, bro. I'm yeah, sure yeah. people have been in very stressful situations, but at the time when I was 17, bro, I thought this is yep, yeah, life or death. My parents say, "See me again." Yeah, yeah. Cool. Do you know what I mean? Because you think that that that's as worse that this is as bad as it can get yeah. for you at 17. Yeah, yeah bro. Season two. Yeah, bro. <laughs> bro I, the blueprints on his back. I'm like. <laughs> I was actually thinking, yo, the, the one time where I really thought cutting the corners is gonna bust me, it put me in pen. <laughs> I can't speak to my parents. So yeah, obviously. Yeah, uni after that. <laughs> 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 obviously now, um, yeah, when when things happen, etc. Mm. You, if you just stay calm, you'll be able to deal with it. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you've learned so much from the lows in your life that it has led you to here. Do you know how incredible, have you, are you realizing what you're saying? Like but, every but, bad thing that you've been through. Everything. Yeah. Job, family, relationship, everything. It's like, it's led you to here. Wallah, I, literally, that's, bro, that's, what, that's why I tell people. Start yeah, with the worst and end them with the great. Yeah, that's a nice quote. Uh, that's why I tell people like, go, if you if you are of the, uh, mindset that God is doing things for your benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, then that's when that's the only time you can really, really, actually learn from the lows and understand mm. it. Because you're understanding why did God put me there? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. why, why did He do that to me? Because at the time, yo, I'm actually thinking, yo, what the hell, bro? Man's in pen, whatever. At this young age, and then uh, I've had a lot of low situations in my life. But when you have that like mindset, oh, I've got a best friend that's proper, like. 
guiding me through situations. Mm. He's put, bro. He puts you through things to toughen you up, like. Sometimes you need it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I needed it a lot, bro. I was a bitch. Can't lie. <laughs> I was, bro. Like, I was a skinny, yeah. acne-filled kid. No confidence at all. Mm. That's why I keep saying to people, bro, man's not special. Like, any, anything that I've done can be replicated. And, like, what's it called when someone t- overtakes you? Uh, override? Uh, no. Overtakes you? Like, yeah. No, you replicate. You was good at the replicate. Yeah, anything I've done can be replicated, and yeah. someone can do way surpass better. Yeah, 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 yeah surpass yeah. me. Wait, but of course, bro. Of course, like, like, um, especially men, yeah, and women. Of obviously, we're men. So, mm-hmm. especially men, you actually build your life. Mm-hmm. Like, you can decide what you want to do and how you want to do it, and work on building your life. Like, whether whether it's relationship, finances. Your 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 friends like the network you have you build these things like and you manifest it. Mm. So yeah, man. What's been like the biggest biggest struggle for you then? What's been like the hardest part? I've had a lot of struggles, man. Probably is is uh, I struggle with patience a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm a lot oh, better yeah. now. Mm. I'm a lot better now because I like to focus on every day as it comes rather than. Like before I'd be like, oh my days, I need to hit 100K. And it's like, why am I not here yet? Now mm. it's like, if I do something every single day to get me to 100K, that's that's a good day. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Hypothetically. Um, when I was a kid, I had the worst skin you could possibly imagine. Like that, really that bad? Proper bad. Really, really bad. Um, you can probably put edit some pictures of it on screen. Yeah, I've s- got s- TikToks of it and stuff. Send them through. Calm. Yeah, it was bad, man. So I had to go out like that. And I remember like one time I was on the, I was on the bus, yeah, going to my grandma's house and like kids were like pointing at my spots, like laughing at it. And, and I like, just, you have to deal with shit. Do you know what I mean? But again, like I look back where I am now and I think, bro, like God put me through things that I did not like at all at the time that made me feel mad shitty because mm. now it's like getting a hate comment. I could deal with that easily, bro. Guys were pointing at my, my skin doing dot to dot and that like, it's very humiliating, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If you start to feel insecure at such a young age. 100%. Mm. Very, very insecure. So, um, uh, there's that. There's addiction problems. Not it's crazy. I wasn't a meth head or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, like just uh, being addicted to bad habits. Mm. I've got a very addictive personality. When I like something, that's it, it's raps. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's raps. Like, I, I need that. As much as possible. So learning how to firstly quit addictions and then balance out my life and then learning to like love life the way God wants you to love it. Like, yeah, it's been um, an yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting journey, man. It's only beginning, man. We don't know. Unless unless I die tomorrow, do you know what I mean? No, 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 no. Why, bro, why do you keep saying no, man? It's the, it's, it's the reality. You know what? I've worked so hard and come this far. I can't, I can't finish now. If I'm on the, if I'm on the ground bleeding, I'm like, bro, I could have allowed me for another day. I could have filmed another podcast. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going out like this, bro. I've got, I've got three more edits to do. <laughs> do you know what I mean? On that shit. Yeah. Um, what does your brother do? Uh, he works for a company called Football Joe. Oh, nice. I'm not sure if you heard of them. Pretty big. Uh, and he does a lot of freelance, man. Works with a lot of footballers. Mm-hmm. He works with Sky. He does some cool stuff, man. Sick. Yeah. He is, is he into his content creating thing as well? He is, but he's very different to me. Like, I record everything in my life, literally. Everything, like, what I'm doing, if I'm eating, who I'm with. Mm-hmm. He's just football. He he, I I feel like he's slowly getting in maybe like one percent, two percent into a bit more of his life, because he's seen Fifi's clout, so he's using Fifi's clout standard. Everyone's got a cat, man. I need, I want a cat, bro. Best thing you can. I have. know that's what I'm saying. They're self sufficient. I don't fuck with cats. I got a cat. I don't fuck with him. Why? Enemy, bro. Why? Yeah, but yeah, bro. Me, I love my cat, bro. That's my baby, bro. I can't like. Everyone's like got. A, I don't understand. But bro, like, it's. I kind of got him for the same reason, but like, 
he's doing the things that I, that you weren't still yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. But this guy, like, I'll wake up and he's like, like literally next to me in bed, like, and he oh, he man. he sleeps in he sleeps in his own bed, yeah. But I'll wake up and he's like next to my head, like just yeah, 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 like yeah. like flipping. <laughs> That's what I want, Loki, yeah, like, bro. I'm jealous, bro I'm jealous, the I'm affection, jealous. yeah, I'm but jealous. you feel so good, like you're like, oh, you love me like this, bro. Like, <laughs> It's mad, bro. <laughs> and then, like, I'll be playing FIFA or COD, yeah. I'm just, I got my feet up on my table and, like, my desk. Yeah. This guy jumps on me. He'll just knock out on me, like. Yeah. Bro, I, I, I want that. Bro, and I'm looking at him and I'm just like, I can't believe you. Lo- like, it's mad because you actually need me in this world. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I want that affection. You know, boys are meant to be hella affectionate. Yeah, like so way yeah, more than cats. Really? Yeah. More than the females? Yeah. Mad. Yeah. Cats are meant to have rapey sticks. So what? What's that? They have hooks. So they really goes in and then a hook comes out. So For what? Whatever they fucking can't get away. What? Mm. Wait, what? Say that again? A cat's penis. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It goes in the vagina. Oh, cat's vagina. Ideally. Uh, oh, <laughs> shit. Out, shit. So what? That's mad. That's bro. That's that's some interesting knowledge, bro. What kind of oh, alien versus yeah. predator nice. shit is that, man? What? Imagine if we had that. <laughs> <laughs> no, that. That is probably the most tapped thing I've ever heard. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, no, that oh, yeah. bro. What's um? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's actually so tapped. By the way, <laughs> he tried to say way up. He was like, yeah, so bro. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I want a pet. I need a cat, bro. It's really. Bro, I need a cat. A lot of, and bro, they're self sufficient as well. They just do their thing. Like yo, they they, they fuck off and then come back. They they mind the business, bro. You know, and, and obviously me, I, I I take my thinking to another level. Yeah, but I think yo, mm. like you know, I feed this cat every day, three mm-hmm. times a day, sometimes four. Give him treats, buy him toys, give him water. And you feel so good about yourself. But but what if yeah that those actions to my cat, like the kindness and that to my cat is the reason I get into heaven. Like maybe what if I've what if what if the actions I've done in my life are not good enough and maybe just those actions get me into it's heaven. good enough. Yeah, like 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 maybe like the the sins I've done has balanced out all the good deeds I've done in in no no in in like my outside life yeah, yeah but then the cat comes in and i'm my kindness to the cat is like the reason goes like yeah so you never know man i actually think about that you know yeah, like because yeah, yeah. bro it's, it's mad bro like another being is literally like being taken care of like mm. by you do you know what i mean it's crazy still i saw loads of them stranded in morocco man i, f- I felt bad for them yeah it's crazy morocco too. is different man so many of them I liked Morocco. I went recently, still. I went to Marrakesh, man. Have you been Marrakesh? Yeah, I went. I went uh, in December. Oh, no, in January actually. What do you think of Marrakesh? Sky, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's sky. Proper. I, but the thing is, uh, I I did like it, and obviously the local local Morocco pe- Moroccan people, uh, lovely, amazing. But there's a lot of skyness, man. There's not. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a bit, I don't know, f- f- like filthy. Yeah. And then a lot of haggling as well. The thing, I, I, I've went one other time and I didn't like it at all. But this time I liked it a lot more. Like I was with my family. It was good vibes, man. Just mm. good energy. The hotel was nice. The people were proper nice. But the scattiness is not nice. What, did you have, like, what was the bad but, experience that you had? But then... Uh, just rudeness, people being rude. Really? Yeah, yeah but um, the you see skyness everywhere, though. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like you see it in Dubai. Dubai is sky, bro. Are you serious? Of course, bro. Of course, Dubai is. But I see yeah. it from videos and stuff. I hear from uh, forums Obviously, and stuff. It looks I, all nice. Yeah, yeah, got yeah, the nice yeah, buildings yeah. and stuff. But bro, it's a Muslim country, and you still get people wearing bikinis, and it's not something that. If you're going to a Muslim country, you want to be seen, but that it's, it's not. But really see, that confuses me sometimes. They're so strict on rules, but then you you see bare like yeah, shenanigans but, going on. So I'm not, it's like they can't make up their minds. They no, they also need all of that for people from the UK to go there so often. Do you know what I mean like that? That's that's that funds the economy, mm. like the, that kind of lifestyle. But if you really want the Muslim Muslims, like Qatar, Oman, I'm trying to move there still. Qatar. 
Qatar, Oman, yeah, one of them. And if Palestine gets liberated, I want to move to Palestine. Mm. My missus. It, it, not if, when. I take that back. Please forgive yeah, yeah, yeah. me. When, inshallah. Yeah. Bro, what are the next steps for you? What's the plan? But you know, people, people keep asking me, like, about this. Like, even, like, family and stuff, yeah? Yeah. I never know, bro. I don't know what to my tomorrow is. Do you, okay, like. so then let me put it this way. Do you have, like, end goals? Do you write goals down? Or do you just, like, ride the wave and see what happens? I do. You let things come to you. When I had, when I had Waleed on the pod, yeah, he was like... Forget writing like your end goals. Just like, just enjoy it. Just, just enjoy what comes. Oh, we lead, bro. I don't know if I can agree with you on this one. I, everything that I've wrote down on my whiteboard, I've manifested. Yeah, yeah. Everything. I mean, it helps for some. Yeah. No, I think it helps for everyone. If you really, really f- do it correctly. Yeah. Everyone. If you, from your brain, if you think about this and have a s- session where you're just thinking yeah, mm-hmm. about what you really, really want. And you take you you print out a picture of it. So like me, I told you, I printed the picture of my car. That's my first car that I ever bought, by the way. Really? That's your first. A, I never had a car before this. Wow. Yeah. Congrats, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. But uh, but I pu- I took a picture of that car. Mm. I put it on my whiteboard. I took a picture of fifty k where I wanted to make my first fifty k. Put it on a whiteboard. Hundred k on TikTok. Put it on a whiteboard. Like these are things that I really thought about. It's like yeah. If I can th- get this, it's like a domino effect. I'll get mm-hmm. other things. I put it on a whiteboard and then I just forgot about it. But I'm walking past it every day. It's in my subconscious now. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I yeah. believe in the it's law so of attraction. So it's so powerful. Um, obviously, you put God into the mix and that's the complete answer. But when you, you can really attract and manifest the things you want in your life, 100%. Like, everything I've done is literally me genuinely writing it down Put it on my whiteboard and it just comes into fruition. I'm not doing that. That's no, it. no, you should, bro. Yeah, you you notice it yourself. <laughs> but hang yo, you lot, your your audience, yeah. You need to keep him accountable. If he don't do it, I'm gonna stick do it. it on him. <laughs> the same hate comments that you sent Hello Aziz on that first pod you did, send it to him again yeah. if you don't do it. So. <laughs> oh, they're pretty bad, you know, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, but that's what you need, bro. If it gets you to start doing you know, it. I'm gonna again, go, bro. I'm gonna rub my sister's whiteboard, I'm gonna put it in my room. Oh, yeah. Get away! Bro, it's it's, it's so many to it. It's, it's super powerful, man. Wallah, yeah, like yeah. really, really powerful stuff, man. Like everything that's on my whiteboard has come true every single time. It, even times where people genuinely thought I was crazy, like uh, when I was on a hundred and I made a YouTube video about this. Don't know if you've seen it, yeah. Well, and we're Leeds old management. Yeah, yeah, I know them. Uh, connect. Yeah, yeah. Shut them out. Yeah. Oh. Not in a good way But yeah. but Connect um, I reached really out to them Because I wanted to be managed And then I saw Waleed I saw Nisrin and Kalo All friends Yeah, yeah. Uh, They they were signed to this management And I knew them And I had similar numbers To them on the socials And yeah. my views were doing really good And whatnot. So I was like I need management like, I wasn't managed by anyone I wasn't making no money mm. So I was like Let me reach out to these people So they said I'm not big enough and I was thinking, how does that? How does that make sense? If you're not big enough, then I'm like, if I do, if I reached out at the same time, do you know what I mean? I mean, they might change their stance now because of what happened to me. But yeah, uh, I remember saying that, like uh, them saying that, and then I was like, but hold on, like me and Kalo, we've got the same numbers and whatnot. And Kalo remembers the story too because I remember speaking to Kalo about this. Yeah, and then uh, they were like, yeah, but. They were just giving bullshit reasons, isn't it? And I felt shit, bro. Like so shit, because it's like, bro, someone's actually telling you that you're not good enough. But me, that pisses me off. Where I have to prove them wrong. Like I'm someone that I love. I love proving people wrong. Like you don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it just does something to See, me. Bro. It drives you hungry, hungry for more. If someone bro. says you can't do it, it makes you even more hungry to do it, bro. It yeah, does yeah, yeah. something mad. To yeah, yeah, me, yeah, like. yeah. I love that. Yeah. So as soon as as soon as that <laughs> they did that, I wrote on the special whiteboard. That's what I'm telling you guys. Need the whiteboard. I said I'm gonna get a hundred k followers in a month. Yeah. So I, I, I called the missus. I told her, like, yo, this is my plans. She was like, you don't think it's a bit high? Bro, imagine it's taken me nearly two years to grow to 200K. In one month, I had to do half what it took me for two years to do. I did it in one week. How? 
prayer manifestation bro like what you write on a whiteboard comes true when you really pray about it and you work hard on it and i can't tell you like oh i knew it was gonna happen i had no idea bro i didn't know that i would actually do it in a month let alone one week bro mm. that's that's a lot of that's a, do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like with manifestation, you're not meant to know how you're gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're meant to truly believe that it will happen a hundred percent. And the universe, God, I believe in God. People don't, so the universe to them, but it's still God. Sorry to break it to you. <laughs> he will give it to you if you truly, truly believe it. He will give it to you still. So yeah, man. Whiteboard, we lead. I'm gonna have to disagree with you on that one. <laughs> Right, Ish, I'm gonna play a would you rather game. I'll ask you some questions. Go on, and tell me your thoughts. Go for it. <laughs> would you rather listen to an annoying laugh for the whole day or get tickled for an hour? Oh, but getting tickled would be long. You but bro, you know laugh? some people's laughs are so jarring though. Don't laugh. laugh. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I'd my laugh listen. can be annoying sometimes. I think I, I think I'd rather listen to your ho- your laugh for. Swear that, uh, yeah. fair enough. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you rather kiss everyone you meet or never kiss anyone again? Never kiss anyone again. That's disgusting. Swear down, bro. Imagine t- I, just man just man. homeless man. Just <laughs> <laughs> That's actually, I feel a bit sick <laughs> after that one. That's crazy. I would never kiss anyone again, bro. I can't lie. Oh, would you? Oh, would you rather get one pound every time you compliment a stranger, or a hundred pounds every time you insult a stranger? One pound every time I compliment a stranger. What the hell? Really? But what if you go walk into like Starbucks, and be like, "You fucking bitch," and just run out? <laughs> yeah, but I'll get more good deeds complimenting people, bro. And it, bro, it, if you just increase the work rate, yeah, <laughs> do you, do you know mean? what I mean? If people have people are vulnerable, you know, you go to like a little cafeteria, you have the coffee, one little as the sipping, customer run out. <laughs> no, no, but if you imagine, imagine the knock on effects of you complimenting someone like that's that's too dark, man. <laughs> You're not wholesome enough for these questions, yeah. bro. Can't lie. <laughs> no, but hear it, hear it, hear it. Yeah, definitely one. That's one a pound. full working day. Just a nine to five. Start nine a.m. Boom. Hi, bro, how hundred you? people you're is not good looking. Yeah. Next person, you're an amazing person. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's even hard. So, would you rather be a baby with the mind of an adult or an adult with the mind of a baby? A baby with the mind of an adult, I think. Yeah, still. That's weird, and it? it's like boss baby. Yeah. <laughs> would you rather be able to speak every language in the world? Or be able to talk to animals. Oh, and then I could talk to Fifi. Yeah. Oh, but every language in the world is a mad one, though. Yeah. But but I'll be real. I'm gonna have to go with talk to animals, just so I can speak. That's to mad, Fifi. isn't it? Just so I can speak to Fifi, bro. I don't even just care about a safari park. Yo, man, no, is it? Like I, I want Fifi <laughs> to tell me that he loves me, bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, I'll be real, bro. Like I think that would be actually the best feeling ever, man. Can't lie. I think I'll have to take that one still. But uh, yeah, just you, you and Fifi on the Friday night, just arguing. Fuck, bro. Like imagine him. You didn't feed me today. Putting putting his head up and he's like, "Oh, can you just stroke me over there?" Like, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, of course." <laughs> like, tell you all the spots. Yeah, just tell me the spot, like. <laughs> This is a sick one. Would you rather spend a week in the woods without a tent or a night in a real haunted house? A week in the woods without a tent, long, a night in a real haunted house. Yeah, one night you, in a But you, knew, you know it's haunted. Like They could come out at night. That's calm, bro. I had course, I'm calm still. Spend a week in the woods without a tent. Bro, woods, you know, you know that's where black magic happens, bro. Yeah, a week, bro. In that time, you you have to... Some... some <laughs> Uh, yeah, you stay awake, bro. Me, I'll pray out of I'm calm, bro. Weak, bro. That's where some random creature will come and they'll be like, you know, piss on yourself. You'll be, you make millions. That's what happens, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All these black magic people in the woods. I'm good. Spend a week in a haunted, uh, a day and a night in a haunted house. Do you know bro. anyone who does that? The black magic stuff. No. Thank fuck for that. Why the hell would that? That's D. No, 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 no. I've sure? never really come across anyone. I've never seen. I've never. Fuck that. I've read stories and that, but yeah, I'm good, man. That that's too that's a realm that I would never try to get involved in, bruv. Even even knowing about it is too booky, bruv. Mm. Here's another here's another one. Would you rather have to always say everything that pops into your head 
or never be able to say what you feel. Oh shit, this is a good one, isn't it? I, I think I'd never be able to say what I feel because I feel like I'd be bare offensive, bro. Mm. Like the things that pop into my head are rude, man. I have to control. Are you one of those thoughts. guys that just like, like if if you imagine what I was thinking right now? No, nah, so like, like. My missus, when she's with me, she hears all my inner thoughts, innit? Mm. So, like, if I were with people or whatever, and then someone says something, I'll, be, I'll nudge her and I'll be like, what the fuck? And she's like, ish, you're so rude. So, I can't have that all the time with yeah, everyone, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. With her, it's calm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I can't do that with everyone. So, I'd rather just not say how I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to offend anyone. Would you rather have every meal you eat for the rest of your life to be too spicy or too sweet? Too sweet. No man, sweet sweet food is Bro. grim sometimes, man. Yeah, you know, like like the sweet and sour chicken, it's a bit grimy. Mm-hmm. No, but like, man's not trying to do no like spicy challenge every single time I I munch. Like that's that's long, bro. How bro, you spicy know like are we talking though. Go I, I'm Indian, so I can handle spice, bro. But can like, you really handle spice? I can handle good spice, like. But obviously, if it's over the top and it's extreme, you'll start seeing my nose start. Can you hack, um, what's that? The firecracker from Wagamama's. Have you had I that? I've not had that still. Have you not had that? Uh, have you not had that? Yeah, I could, I'll do the sweet. Oh, would you rather give up showering or internet for a month? Showering? For a month or internet for a month? Oh, long. Low key, I want to say uh, showering still. I don't want to give up the internet, bro. That's how I make my bread. <laughs> but let's see. You, you, you I got I got weddings to pay for, bro. But let's see. Rock, rock up. To, <laughs> let's see. Rock up to set, and everyone's like, "Ew." <laughs> I just paid them to shut their mouth, innit? <laughs> Ish, you have dropped some gems on this pod. I appreciate you. You have dropped some good insights. I'm I'm gonna take it with me when I learn from them. So, bro, thank you so much. So, thank you so much, bro. For thank you for having me, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. And inshallah, you come to Omar one day. I will do. I'll put my and, deposit um, down. <laughs> But don't don't do I that. Will, I, honestly, bro, I, I want to. How can I not? How can how can someone say no? The, the one in April. There's the one in April. I'm going in April. Okay, yeah, my one. Don't don't do this. What is that? The the first one you're going to? Yeah. I, when's the next one after April? But why do you? Okay, let me ask you a question. While we're still recording, why not in April? Because uh, I'm actually starting a new role, so it's gonna uh, be very, yeah, it's gonna be difficult. But but it's still there's a possible pattern. There's a po- there's, there's a possibility. How long are you going for? 10 days 10 days well, That's decent Over one weekend So technically it's like f- Only t- uh, Six days of work That you'll potentially miss Yeah yeah I'll just tell them man. It's, it's a re- religious purposes Promise right. you They can't say no Promise you uh, if- Can we just uh, jump on a quick call quickly Shut up bro, <laughs> If people take the risk To go to God's house God will never ever fail you bro mm-hmm. I promise you, man. That uh, literally, I'm a living example. Hundred, I've literally gone there, bro. I, I've um, booked flights for uh, like the, my whole trip for nine bills before, and I've had like a bag one hundred in my account, one point one k. So I've had two bills left, basically all my money to go. And at the end of the year, I've taken my whole family, ten grand, bro. It, it's not me though. Yeah, you know I mean, I go to Umrah, yeah, I go yeah, to Allah's yeah, yeah. house. I made the ala. I was making that Allah allow me to bring my family. All of a sudden, all these crazy opportunities, things are working my way. Like I can't say that's me, bro. I'm, it's not special, bro. Like I love that. I love that. Good man, bro. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for coming on. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for having me again. Um, yeah, man. Thank you so much, bro. The door's open for you to come again as well. If bro, yeah, man. Unless unless you make it big time, then you'll be like, no, no, no. Only die of a CEO. <laughs> <laughs> bro, thank you so much for coming on. I really bro. appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Don't yeah. forget. You've been listening to The Last of the Real Podcast. Catch all the episodes on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud and YouTube.